Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your instructor for this Azure Administrator AZ104 examination series. In the last module, we learned about Azure administration. And the things we have learned are how to manage Azure using Azure Portal, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, Azure AMP template, and Quick Start templates. In this video, we're going to go through a quick review questions on the things what we have learned so far. Let's look at the first question. You are creating a new resource group to use for testing. Which two of the following parameters are required when you create a resource group with PowerShell or CLI? Select two. So when you're going to create a resource group, what are the two parameters required if you use PowerShell or CLI? Is it tag? Definitely not. Tag is an optional parameter. Is it subscription? You don't have to provide subscription as a parameter anywhere. Is it region? Again, region is not a default parameter as well. So the two required parameters when creating a resource in PowerShell or CLI are location and name. Location and name are required by PowerShell, new-az resource group and CLI, which is az group create. So let's go through question number two. Which of the following is not true about Cloud Shell? And you need to select one. So I'm going to read out all the statement and figure out which one is going to be not true. So the first statement is authenticates automatically for instant access to your resources. Absolutely correct. So Cloud Shell authenticate automatically. Second statement each user account can be assigned multiple machines which is not true. Each user account cannot be assigned multiple machines. The Cloud Shell is assigned one machine per user account. So that is that statement is not true. So let's go through other statements as well. Cloud Shell provides both Bash and PowerShell session. Absolutely true. Cloud Shell provides an editor. Yes, you will get an editor with the Cloud Shell. And the last one is, Cloud Shell requires an Azure file share, which is again true as well. So the wrong statement is each user account can be assigned multiple machines. No, you can assign one machine per user account. All right, the next question. You are managing Azure locally using PowerShell. You have launched the app as an administrator. Which of the following command would you use first? Select one. Which command you are going to use? So the right answer is connect dash az account. When you are working locally, you are not automatically logged into Azure. So the first thing you should do is to connect to Azure and provide your credentials. You have a new Azure subscription and need to move resources to that subscription. Which of the following cannot be moved? So you need to find out which resource out of the list provided below cannot be moved. Is it Key Vault? You can move a Key Vault. Definitely you can move a storage account and a virtual machine. The one thing which you cannot move is a tenant. A tenant cannot be moved between subscriptions. Next question. Which of the following is not an element in the template schema? Select one. So we learned about template and different parts of the template. So we learned about functions, which is part of template schema. We learned about outputs, which is part of the template schema. And we learned about parameters as well, which is part of the schema as well. The one thing which is not part of the template is inputs. Inputs is not a part of template schema. All right, the next question is, which of the following best describes the format of an Azure Resource Manager template? 
We talked about it quite a lot. So I'm sure all of you are aware of it. This is definitely not an XML document. It's not a text document. It's not a markdown document as well. The format is called a JSON. A JSON document with key value pairs. An Azure Resource Manager template is a JSON document with a key value pairs. Okay, let's look at the last question. You are reviewing your virtual machine usage. You notice that you have reached the limit of virtual machine in US East region. Which of the following provides the easiest solution? You need to select one. If you remember, I talked about if you reach the limit on any particular usage limit or a resource limit in your subscription, you can always go to your Coda and request support to increase the limit. So it's not, you won't be able to do this by adding another resource group or changing your subscription plan or resizing your virtual machine. This is being done by raising a support ticket with Microsoft to increase the quota. So if you need to increase the default limit, there is a request increase link. You will complete and submit the support request so that Microsoft can increase the quota. All right, so that concludes the module three. In the next video, we are entering a brand new module called virtual networking. And in that module, our first lesson is going to be all about virtual networks. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.